Some of you have asked me, how do I open a bottle of wine? Well, I'm assuming up until now, unless you just have somebody else open every bottle for you, you know somewhat how to open a bottle of wine. And maybe this is why a lot of you love screw top bottles because they are just the easiest to open. And I agree with you. But if you have a bottle of wine that has a cork to it and you want to be able to drink that and nobody's around to help, what you can do is my favorite kind of corkscrew is one of these little, um, they're called waiter's corkscrews. And I love it because it has the knife right on there, which helps me open the bottle of wine. And the other thing is that they break the least of any kind of wine opener that I've ever tried. So what I like to do is the sommelier's way of opening a bottle of wine, which is to take the foil and cut it just below this lip. I think one of the reasons why we used to do that is because in olden days, some of the capsules, this foil potted around it, used to contain lead. And so you wanted to make sure that you removed the lead so that it didn't touch any of the wine and you didn't actually get any of that in your bottle of wine, because who wants that? So. Then if you had one of those very old bottles of wine that had lead in the capsule, you would make sure you wash off the bottle at the top too to make sure that none of that ended up in your bottle of wine. So the next thing is you just take out this little piece here, the screw, or some people call it the worm. And what I like to do is I place my finger on the part that is the tip. That kind of just helps me guide it right into the center of the cork. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick it in the center of the cork there and twist, usually about five times. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is a Bordeaux cork, so it's a little bit long, so I'm gonna go further. But really, I go all the way until I can't see the worm anymore. And then at that point, what you do is you have this wonderful little lever here that's gonna help give you the leverage. Do you ever have that moment where you're like pulling and pulling and pulling on the cork and you don't have the strength to get it out? This is called leverage, uh, a physics term that my mother would love to tell you about. And by doing that, you can maximize the force that you're using to open this bottle of wine. I gotta tell you guys, this bottle of wine is an older bottle of wine. It's from the year 2000. It's a Bordeaux that I actually bought when I was visiting the region of Bordeaux. And so sometimes oh, you get these older bottles and boom, you have a cork that breaks. What happened is actually I stored this in a way where the cork was not kept very moist. It was in pretty dry conditions in my mother-in-law's basement wine fridge. Um, and there wasn't much dampness there to it. So what you do in that case is I, what I did is I took that little piece of cork that broke off, I took it off of the corkscrew, and now I'm gonna proceed and I'm just gonna keep going. No need to be embarrassed, this happens often, sadly often for me who uh, should have known better and should have stored my wine better, but hey, these things happen. And now it gives me a perfect opportunity to show you guys what to do if that ever happens to you. So what I did is I just went right back in there. It's kind of like life. Something breaks off, something fails, something doesn't work, you just go right back in there. So I go back in there with my corkscrew and now because it's a smaller piece of cork, you wanna pull it out really gently. So I'm just gonna go. It's hard for me to get the leverage while showing you this on the video. And I'm gonna pull it out. And you can see, okay, can I get this high enough? I need to reposition my camera so that you can see this and I can pull it out. See that? The rest of the cork came out. It's just a itty bitty little cork at the end there, but the job is done. And look, inside my wine, you probably can't see this, but there's not a bit of cork in there. Done. And now it's ready for pouring into a glass of wine.